We've been grouping quite a few things together, and that's wonderful. It's the equivalent of gluing the pieces together. Sometimes you may accidentally select one too many items when you make a group. By selecting these four door pieces and grouping them, I've actually created one object instead of two separate doors. If this is the last thing you've done, then Control z to undo will work. If not, right-click on it and select Explode. Now that the grouping has been undone, we can select the doors for individual grouping. With these pieces here, we'll create a door frame to house the doors. This block has detail on three sides. For the doorway, we'll put the blank side on the outside of the arch. Lining this last piece up will have created the door frame. To finish up with a doorway, we'll turn it into a group and then move it out of the way. For our final piece, we'll assemble the shower accessory. I've assembled these pieces a little too close to the others, so what I'm going to do is move them forward a little bit to give myself some extra space. We'll use this piece here as the shower arm. Be sure that the flat side faces down. Because the dimensions on this piece are a little bit different, lining it up center will be a little more difficult. To get around this, let's zoom in for a closer look. What we're going to do is grab the midpoint of the shower arm and then find the midpoint of the pipe piece. And there we go it's centered. For the final piece we'll use this as the shower head. We'll flip it over and then attach it to the arm. We'll use the rubber band box to select all the pieces, turn it into a group, and there we have our shower accessory. Mm -hmm.